When you're on vacation, finding the perfect souvenir or gift to take home can be a challenge. Sometimes shop after shop seems to carry the same old tourist items. But on the Kenai Peninsula, there's a tourist hotspot that's truly unique and Alaskan. Napa Auto Parts is proud to present Napa's Inside Alaska. Uh, I had a sister that moved up here and she lived in Eagle River and I visited her and then I started carving in their yard for uh, pieces that she wanted and then the neighbor wanted one and the next neighbor wanted one and the next neighbor wanted Pretty soon I was traded out for fly trips and all that. And Scott Hansen was originally a farmer down in Minnesota, but after visiting Alaska and seeing an open niche for carving, he moved here and turned his lifelong hobby into a career. I come up in 94 and then I moved up in 97 and I've been doing this full time since 97. And I do a lot of custom orders. So this is one custom order that's going out of state. I do ship out a lot. Uh, when I first came here, it was Alaskans uh, treat me really well. And last year with the economy like there was, I still sell a lot in state. I mean, I noticed more last year than ever. But I kind of catered to more tours because it's, uh, you know, it's a busy season and they want smaller stuff. And, and they few of them come through and want special stuff made. I do a lot of benches and now I've went to more um, inside pieces, even doing uh, moose heads, you know, character stuff, stuff that you put inside. Because um, I've kind of catered to that too more. You, you finish it a little more, you know, I like it, so. Scott's place has grown to include a large gallery and gift store, a carved and custom painted merry-go-round and some of the best barbecue on the peninsula. <laughs> but there's also a fun learning experience for families to enjoy. Uh, there's a trick to this. There's a trick to it. I'll get you started here. It's real heavy right now. I'll let you do some of this. How about it? Is it's full of gold? It's full of gold and it's full of, <laughs> full of a, there's a lot of dirt in there. Right. Yeah. Gold is about 18 times heavier in water. So if you take, uh, uh, and it's about six, eight times heavier than anything that's in here, the heavier sand. If you put water in there and shake it back and forth, Gold is going to go down and over to the deepest part of this dirt. So if gold is in the deepest part, everything on top is light sand we need to get rid of. And I, I've developed what I call an ATM move. Put your card in, remove quickly. Mm -hmm. See how that top layer of sand came off? That makes me nervous. You want to try it? All right. All right. It took me three hours to do my first pan. Okay. And it looks like you're on schedule. I'm going to let you finish it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a matter of faith. If you know where the goal is, it's, it's not a hard thing to do. Right. See? So where is this gravel coming from? This came from an ancient stream bed out of uh, Cooper Landing. Oh, okay. Uh, and see, the situation is the Forest Service has laws that I can't teach you how to do this at a miner on the creek. They won't allow me to do it. So I had to build this man-made river, and it has to be done on private property. But the dirt's coming from the dirt a comes from source. Definitely, it's, uh, it's got a lot of gold in it. So anybody can come in here, pan a little gold, mm -hmm. and they get to keep mm -hmm. what they find. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Oh, oh, wow! Yeah. That's a legitimate nugget, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. That was fun. Thank you. Right before you get to Sadatna, 90.1. I'm on the Sterling Highway and um, you can't hardly miss my place. People say they do and I wonder how, but... <laughs> so if you're looking for an interesting place to stretch your travel legs, want a tasty bite on the way through, or you're looking for a souvenir like no other, visit Scott Hansen on the Sterling Highway.